Hey guys, Michael Blackwell here. Sometimes when you buy stock photos or get a photo from somewhere else, they give it to you in a really high resolution. And when you put that on your web page, it can cause some load time issues. Um, with this site right here, you'll notice uh, the site should be loaded, but you see how this is kind of going real slow on the image here. And then over here, how they're kind of taking their time to load. This is a sign right now. This is a very easy sign to tell me your pictures are way too large. So what we can do with that is very, very simple and it's very quick. We're going to go to pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R.com. While that loads, I'm going to go back to the site and I'm going to grab one of these photos for our sample. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and right click the photo. I'm going to hit save as and then I will just do um, something easy to find. Okay. And now just to show you guys how big this photo is before we start, I am going to open it up in Photoshop and uh, close that out. We're going to open this up real quick and I just want to see how big it is. Okay. And I know you don't have Photoshop. I'm just doing this to show you. Yeah, look, okay, this is 2.3 megs. That is gigantic. This file should be very, you know, 800 times smaller than that. One reason is the resolution is really high, and then the size of the photo itself is really big. Um, the stock photo places, as I said, will give you a large photo so that you can use it however you wish, and that's usually a really high resolution to ensure you get a really good photo. So I'm going to close out the site. We're going to pull up Pixlr, and it looks like they've updated their website again. So let's scroll down here, and I'm going to use the Pixlr editor. editor. So I'm going to hit Launch Web App. Okay. So at this point, you should have saved the image or images that you want to reduce the size of, and you should have gone to Pixlr's website, and, that's the, and then gone to uh, the editor on the left. So that's the only thing you should have done, and we're going to go ahead and click Open Image from Computer. I'm going to find the image that we just had. Okay. So all we're going to do here is we're going to go to image, image size, and we're going to make this smaller. Most web, the website you're creating in Weebly is, I believe it's about a thousand pixels wide. So there's no reason we need one of your photos to be the full, the full width of your site. So what I tell people is a good rule of thumb. I normally knock the width down to about four to 500 because that's usually about the size you're going to use anyways. So I'll just go to 480. You'll notice it constrained my proportions. You want to make sure that this is checked because what happens is if you change the width and this is unchecked, it'll just change the width but not the height. We want everything to be in ratio here. So go ahead and click OK. Our image is now smaller and there's one more option we get and it's a file, save, and then you get the option here to choose your quality. Um, the file before was 2.31 megs. We've now got it down to 36 kilobytes, which is perfect. This is exactly what you want. So I'm going to change the name to limo. Um, you can change it to whatever. Um, limo. Let me just do that. Um, JPEG is what we're going to keep. And then I normally do about 80, 80 to 75 on the quality, um, just to make sure it stays small. Keep it at 80 if you wish. Go ahead and hit OK, and then save it back to your desktop. Now just to show you what we've done, here's the original with 2.31 megs. Let's go ahead and pull up the new guy that we just created called Limo. It's a little bit smaller and we're down to 450K. That's perfect. 72 resolution. This is exactly what we want right here. So that is how you can take a photo and diminish the size of it. Um, this will greatly increase load time for your page, which in return will help with your rankings and uh, help with people not leaving your website due to frustrations of it not loading.